1993 Comrades Marathon, a down run from Peter Maritzburg to Durban, and as usual, plenty of excitement at the start. The mayor of Peter Maritzburg ready to fire the gun, but not before Max Trimborn's recorded cockcrow, the traditional start of the race, and great excitement as the runners lined up a cool morning and in the field for the first time many many overseas runners including a challenge competition between a select south african team and a team of runners from overseas and the runners set off on the 89.9 kilometer journey to kingsmead in durban a massive throng of excited eager and fit runners and amongst the spectators the great wally hayward five times winner of the race and his greatest achievement ever running the race in nine and three quarter hours at the age of 80 in 1988 the first big downhill came at Polly Shorts after about eight kilometers, and Justice Makumi it was who set off at under three and a half minutes a kilometer and took the early lead up towards the highest part of the course at Amlas Road. And running 15 kilometers in under 50 minutes, Makumi was really committing Comrades Marathon suicide. But that's the normal pattern for the Comrades Marathon, an early leader uh, seduced by the cool conditions, the excitement of the morning, always tends to go out hard uh, the big names hanging back further back running a more sensible pace biding their time to make a move in the ladies race it was a ding-dong battle throughout on the far side Bernard Daly with the short hair and in the middle of the field middle of the pack there it was Tilda Till from the Durban Savages Club and these two were to have a ding-dong battle right the way through the race Bernard Daly a relative novice in the field Tilda Till looking for her 10th medal and the two of them were to exchange the lead several times during the course of the race. And it was a very, very exciting and very, very close race. And of course, it wasn't just all theirs. There were other women in the field, amongst them Sanet, Sanet Bjorkus, who followed them and tracked them all the way. The ladies, as usual, followed by hordes of men and the sun came out early in the race. It was truly a lovely day. The weather never really got too hot and the athletes enjoyed it, particularly Sanet Bjorkas running in front of her home crowd from the Westville Athletic Club. She went right past her front door. And Bjorkas no doubt wishing to improve on her 1992 finishing position of sixth overall. Between Camperdown and Cato Ridge, on a slight uphill pull, Makumi began to pay for his early impetuosity. 15 kilometers in under 50 minutes had gradually taken its toll and he was caught by the two Kwakwa runners Stemmer and Mukwena who eased up alongside him uh, checked him out gradually and then later on moved ahead the main bus further back was not doing anything rash running together letting these three runners commit comrade suicide the ladies race still developing into quite an exciting tussle in the fourth place Ray Bischoff of the Allied Rockies Club in Johannesburg ahead of her, Bernard Daly, Sanet Bjorkas, and Tilda Turl. And Makumi's lead at one stage was 3 minutes 15, but behind him the race was developing with Charlie Dahl, the German, Eloy Dolliveri, Israel Maraki, and other South African favourites. And the mist settled down over Drummond and created ideal running conditions. And as the race developed in the second half, so did the tactics, and Stemmer it was who moved into the lead, but chasing him on the downhill, the long downhill stretch from the top of the Nchonga Hill to the halfway point at Drummond, it was Nyangene who passed him and made a challenge and went into the lead, but it was still very, very early in the race. In the sunshine for a change as they went in and out of the mist, but the German Charlie Dahl at this stage lying in third place and pacing himself perfectly. Charlie Dahl, the seventh best runner all time in the world list for 100 Ks, was just behind this man, Jungena, who led through the Drummond halfway point, and it was now a long uphill slog for him and for Charlie Dahl, but certainly Charlie Dahl took this in his stride far better than anybody else, and always the comrades, comedians out there, everybody having a great time. And as the race leaders went through Drummond, all tracking the leaders up front, they were cheered through by a big crowd and watched and encouraged by a very excited Wally Hayward, who in his day once led the Comrades Marathon by 20 minutes at this point, but no longer that type of race as Gary Turner tried to hang on. He'd been looking very good earlier on, uh, but he started to show the strain as they went through in about 2.52. 
and the leaders at the halfway mark there, Michael Nyangeni, ahead of Charlie Dahl and Stammer was still there, Jetman Masutu having a training run, and uh, Russell Crawford, the first Jermison Kelly's run in a good seventh place. And as they pulled out of the bowl of Drummond, the part that for many novices is a great shock because they think it's downhill race, but in fact it's a long seven to eight kilometer pull out of the halfway mark. Charlie Dole made his move and went to the front. He didn't really aggressively chase the early leader, but he just slipped into the lead. And then Russell Crawford, second in last year's London to Brighton, decided he was going to make his move. And he put in a big surge and started to chase the leaders. And one of those leaders was over 50, a master, Danny Shongwe, at that stage having a great run. But Russell Crawford surged past him on the long uphill to Botha's Hill. In the ladies' race, it was still Bernard Daly, who'd got ahead of Tilda Turl. Tilda having to make a bit of a pit stop along the side of the road, and Daly took full advantage of that. The lady from Potterstrom was having a great run also on that long uphill. Ray Bischoff still in third place. Daly a minute ahead of Turl. A minute in turn ahead of Bishop, followed by Van Feren at that stage. Up front, we got our first glimpse of a man who was to play a, a major part in the race from now on. Theo Rafiri, seventh in last year's comrades, suddenly making a quantum leap in performance, and he went past Crawford and started chasing the leaders as hard as he could. And even though he had an incredibly awkward style, it was very, very deceptive, and Theo Rafiri at this stage was running very, very efficiently and very quickly. But ahead of him was still Charlie Doll, who negotiated the downhill stretch from both his hill to Hillcrest. And just look at that for an odd looking style. Uh, but it was very efficient and he kept it going with those arm actions and he reacted to the tremendous crowds that were all the way down the road in the Comrades Marathon this year. And he just loved the attention he was getting from everybody. At that stage now, in second place, and Dole was way ahead of him. But behind, the pack was chasing, and the pack included Eloy Dolivera in the black and white, Sean Micklejohn in the middle, Maholi behind, it was Chris Morwani with the dark glasses, Israel Maraki with a hat, and Charlie Dole now in second place, with Rafiri going past and Rafiri going like a train as they went through Hillcrest. And at this stage, Charlie Dahl started to go through a bad patch and Rafiri went into the lead for the first time in the Comrades Marathon. <laughs> Further behind, Eloy de Oliveira having a brilliant Comrades Marathon for him as he moved into third place, running very, very strongly. This part of the course is very, very pleasant. It was cool and a little bit overcast and the spectator support was superb as the runners ran through Hillcrest, down through Gillets, towards Clough, on a very gentle downhill stretch, nothing like the ghastly field hill which was to come. And at this stage, it was Rafiri about a minute ahead of Charlie Dahl, Eloy Dolivera leading the two Springbok runners, Meraki and Mikkel John. And after a long downhill sweep past Winston Park, the runners headed out onto the dual carriageway, the M13 to Durban. A very tough, boring stretch of race. And suddenly, Thompson Magawana appeared on the scene. World record holder for 50 kilometers, he started blitzing through the field, using his fantastic speed to move up into the gold medal positions. Going past the tiring Dolivera, who would be hanging on for a gold medal. And at this point, it was Theo Rafiri, just about two minutes ahead of Dahl, with Mikkel John and Maholi battling it out for third and fourth, and Mattia behind them, and a fast-moving Magawana coming through the goals. But it was Theo Rafiri up front, hanging on grimly. All he had to do was keep his nose in front, and the first place would be his, but could he do it? Of the top five positions, it was Maholi who really looked the strongest over the last eight Ks as he headed up towards 45th cutting, got away from Sean Micklejohn and the big question after this year's race will be, did Maholi leave it too late? But Sean Micklejohn, another workmanlike performance, his fifth gold medal in a row. And then came the dramatic moment of the race on the sweep down from the Berea Charlie Dole closed the gap said a, a brief word to a very brave early race leader and then swept off to take the race he, he seemed quite worried in the last few kilometers, turning around repeatedly to check if he had the race in the bag, but in fact there was no question. Meanwhile, the seesaw race and the ladies' event continued with Bernard Daly back in the lead, just 100 meters or so ahead of Savage's Tilda Turl, and would it be 
in experience against experience. Daly now 15 seconds. That's nothing in comrades' terms. Ahead of Terl Bischoff still in third place. And the first view of the sea, a beautiful day, clutching in the one hand a German flag and in the other hand the message from the mayor of Maritzburg to the mayor of Durban. It was Charlie Doll who ran onto the green, green grass of Kingsmead Stadium. And so for the first time in 21 years, the Comrades Marathon had another foreign winner of the race. Charlie Doll from Germany taking the race in a great 5.39. The man who also is a world-class cross-country skier, a mountain racer supreme, and he came out here with a good pedigree and just showed quite how good he is over 90 kilometers of Natal territory. In second place, Theo Rafiri, loved by the crowd for his effort, showed that he was really happy with his second place and strode casually across the line. It certainly was the day of the balloons and many of the runners that finished the Comrades Marathon were given a balloon in aid of the disabled. The fastest finisher over the last eight kilometers was Mahala Mashloli, finishing in fourth place. A goldfield security runner had a great run and he was absolutely delighted with that position. And in fourth place came Mr. Consistency, Sean Micklejohn, picking up yet another gold medal and being the first South African runner home in the international challenge. His green number because of his five gold medals. And uh, a little disappointing, perhaps he was a pre-race favorite, but a gold medal is something very, very special in this race. And a very well-deserved gold medal for Thompson Magawana, one of South Africa's finest ever long distance runners after trying so hard and not quite making it. Last year, he got it right this year and very well-deserved for the holder of the two oceans marathon record behind him a relative of the unknown rudy duplessis from the ungodwana mine in the eastern transvaal came through to pick up a very surprising gold medal but a good run for him and, and behind duplessis matia coming in for the cape there and looking very very good another relatively unknown runner before this year's comrades marathon charlie doll's winning time just under 5:40. you're very second magawana in the fifth place the first five of them under five hours and 50 minutes and then from sixth to tenth those surprises duplessis matia indaba and Dolivera. the ladies race continued to its ding dong fashion ray bischoff had gone past bernard daly in the second place bischoff there with a red headband and daly trading some meters behind her in the third place but it was tilda turl using all her experience who moved earlier on into second place and held that right the way through to the finish Twenty thousand people packed into a very colorful kingsmead cricket ground and so finally for tilda turl after a long 10-year apprenticeship she achieved her dream of winning the Comrades Marathon. She withdrew from the international team to run in Belgium in August, just so she could finally achieve this dream. A great moment for her, a wonderful triumph. And to win on your 10th time, there was a smile on her face for most of the second half of the race. And she was the happiest lady in Durban. And this really showed afterwards very, very good run by Tilda Turl from Savages in Durban. And in second place, a workmanlike performance by the 39-year-old Ray Bischoff from Allied Rockies, who kept going steadily through and got home just over seven hours. And the ladies always seem to smile. Maybe they're happier to finish. And the depth of the ladies running and comrades certainly improving all the time. Two of them under seven hours. And the 10th place, a good seven hours and 23 minutes.